Chuck Wagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games. Hey everyone, thanks for joining us for another great video here on Chuck Wagon MTG. Today we're going to be opening up a box of Return to Return to Ravnica. No, I know you're all sitting here in that. Guilds of Ravnica. We're opening this for a patron. Uh, but before we get to that, um, we had some technical issues last week. Uh, essentially, we fried one of the uh, RAM sticks, the memory sticks, uh, in our PC that we used to edit. Uh, long story short, made it so we couldn't really do a video last week, uh, aside from a bare-bones one. Uh, we didn't get to do our giveaway, so we are going to do that uh, right now. Uh, before we get to Marx's video, normally he gets a dedicated video because he is a booster box patron and you get your own video when you do that, but uh, we need to, to get this going. So, any whom, we've got our uh, wheel to side up here. We've got quite a few people on it. This is everyone who commented from uh, the last week's worth of videos. We're going to go over to random.org and we're going to roll some dice. We're going to roll two six sided dice. We got three. We're going to go ahead and click this thing three times, and the next person on top is going to be the winner. Good luck to everybody that's involved once, twice, and thrice. Winner of this one is going to be MTG Hermit. You are the winner of this particular one. Uh, but you know what? We're not doing just one, and I'm kind of ill-prepared. I thought I had a notepad in front of me. Um, we're going to go ahead and write your name down. And my pen just broke on me, so we'll get another one. <laughs> MTG Hermit. All right, so we're going to open up some packs few. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go down here and we're going to take out MTG Hermit's name. Let's see, we got quite a long list of, of people here. All right, and we're going to apply the wheel changes. We're going to roll some dice again, and we're going to do this again. Uh, this time we got 10. We'll click it 10 times. Whoever comes up, congratulations, you're going to win some packs too. Uh, good luck to everyone that's involved again. we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Let's see who the winner this time is going to be. It's going to be Malazoid MTG. Write your info down here. Okay, we're going to go down here. We're going to take out Malazoid's name. Where are you at? There you are. And we're going to apply the wheel changes. We're going to roll some dice. We're going to do it again. This is this is my way of saying sorry this didn't happen. Uh, we've done that a couple times, I think. So, uh, oh, we got 11 this time. All right. Uh, we applied the wheel changes. Good luck to everyone that's involved. Once, twice, thrice, four, five... Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Congratulations to Cardboard Badger. All right, Cardboard Badger. He's actually he. I dig that little badger. All right. So without further ado, let's go ahead and uh, we're going to start off here. We're going to start opening packs. You're not getting one. You're getting two. You're getting a Dominary and a Core 19 set. I do apologize that I don't have uh, guilds to open up. Um, oh, I just hit my camera around. Um, essentially, uh, I didn't have a way to get enough of it uh, to open up anything more aside from Marcus's box to begin with. So we're going to go ahead and skip past this stuff. Uh, we got Sentinel of the Pearl Trident. Oh, and I hit the camera again. I am so sorry. Uh, Curator's Ward. Uh, the Mending of Dominaria. And then uh, Urgros the Empty One. All right, I'm going to go ahead and scoot that because I keep hitting this camera. Okay, uh, well, that is your first pack there. Now, keep in mind, all y'all, you got to get a hold of me. you got to message me um, and tell me where to send these cards to because if you don't tell me where to send them, I can't send them. I am not that good. All right, we've got uh, Blanchewood Armor, Suspicious Bookcase, Siegebreaker Giant, and get yourself a Goblin Trash Master. You know what? This was a card that was slightly scoffed at, but um, I think this might actually see some play now that uh, Goblins are a thing. Okay, so that was MTG Hermits. Those were your cards 
get a hold of me, uh, get me an address to send them to um, here on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, however you want, and we'll get those out to you. Next pack, this is from Malazoid. Is my pronounce that right? Malazoid? I'm pretty sure it's Malazoid. All right, we got, oh, we got R Wizard's Retort. That's not bad. We got Dampening Sphere. Not bad. And, oh, the Antiquities War. Oh, well. Arvad the Cursed. Um, let me know. You may want Arvad more than you want Antiquities War. <laughs> oh, that's sad. All right. <laughs> uh, let's go on to the M19 pack here. I'm skipping too far ahead. All right, we got an Inferno Hellion. We got Herald of Faith. Reassembling Skeletons. And we got a Cleansing Nova. That's not too bad. Oh, and you got a foil too. A Knight of the Tusk. All right. Oh, there's an emblem in there. All sorts of good stuff. So yeah, let me know what you want out of there. Uh, typically, we can send four cards um, without a break in the bank. Uh, we can sometimes slip in more. Um, up to eight cards that's the most we want to do because then it gets a little hairy but anywho uh cardboard badger that's a fun guy i'm actually a, a patron of his uh on the cardboard badger channel let's see what we got here all right we got in bolas's clutches uh merfolk trickster not too shabby and uh josu vess lich knight i drew a blank there for a second and Ergoros, the empty one. All right, core 19. All right, let's see what we got here. All right, we got Ether Shield, Artificer, Thud, Murder, and uh, Mystical Archaeologist. Eh, not too bad, not too bad. All right, well, I've got these set aside for you here. Uh, congratulations, MTG Hermit, Mal Malazoid, MTG, um, and Cardboard Badger. I'm going to go ahead and set these off to the side here. As I'm partially off camera, that's a big no-no, I know this. Okay, now, on to, uh, on to our patron. Marcus Mills, a.k.a. Exotic MTG. Thank you so much, sir. For being our highest level patron, uh, you get a little bit of everything. So today he's getting the booster box uh, of uh, Guilds of Ravnica. We've also got a pack of uh, Masters 25. He picked uh, for his standard pack, you get an extra standard pack, uh, a bonus pack of Ravnica, Guilds of Ravnica. But before that, we're going to go over to our Patreon, build a pack box. And he is going to get one card here, randomly picked. That's going to be autographed. We'll go with this one. And it is a... Ooh, armor throw. That's fun times. And then we get two cards out of the rare slot. Randomly picked. We got some good stuff in here, too. Uh, we've got one. We'll go towards the back of this. this isn't a common or uncommon worth at least a dollar. Uh, we'll go towards the front for this. This is a random foil. We'll pick that one. And then he gets a foil basic as well. This can be autographed if he so chooses. And then we get 10 cards out of this. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, and one more random card. Ten. Also, something to keep in mind is we actually hit ten patrons. So uh, keep an eye out. Soon we're going to be doing our first patron-only giveaway. It's going to be all sorts of fun. All right, let's see what Marcus pulled here. All right, we got uh, oh, we got an Apprentice Wizard. Uh, Demir Kirun. Flameborn Hellion. Corpse Churn. Flintoff Boar. Hyena Pack. Uh, Sigiled Sword of Valoran. Okay, I guess we've got uh, rares in here too. Uh, Doom Dissenter. Cartouche of Strength. And a Blanchwood Armor. Alright, let's see what he got for the Foil Basic. He got a uh, Mountain from M13. The Random Foil is uh, Clock of Omens. <laughs> tap to, it's a 4-drop tap to untapped artifacts you control 
untap target artifact. This thing is just all sorts of confusing, but fun. All right, for his uncommon, he got uh, acidic soil. All right, that's not too shabby. Let's see what he got for his rares. First one is Leonin War Leader. That guy's not too bad. And then we got Blue Sun Zenith. I loved that card when it came out. I was very happy with that. That was one of my favorite blocks. Was uh, was Phyrexia scars that was just all sorts of great all right we'll go ahead and put these aside i'll get that signed for you we'll get this out of here all right so we'll start off with his masters 25 pack if i can get this thing open there we go all right let's see what kind of good stuff that's the only one of this so we're gonna go ahead and kind of slow roll through it diabolic edict uh, Timberwolf, love that. Phantasmal Bear, love that. Man of War, Path to Peace. All right, we got a Crossing Tusker, Red Elemental Blast, and that's not too shabby. Will O' the Wisp, and your rare is. Oh, Bident of Thassa. But then we did get a Nail Spell Bomb. Okay, that, you know, that's not, actually not too shabby. I'm not sure if the. Uh, Foil one from the master set is is actually worth something, but I know the regular foil is, so we'll go ahead and we'll check it out. But that is your master's 25 pack. Now, for the bonus pack of Guilds of Ravnica. Now, we're going to do our best to kind of shoot through this. Um, I don't think we've got any commons that are really worth anything. So we're going to go ahead and shoot to the end here. We got Undercity uh, Necrolisk. Uh, we got Discovery and Dispersal. City Watch Sphinx in our rare is Assassin's Trophy. Way to start this thing out. All right, good deal. And then a Selesnia Guildgate. All right, that's not bad for the first rare. All right, now we're going to go ahead and we're going to crack this box open. That was probably loud. I am so sorry, folks. Get this bad boy going. Actually, no, we're not going to set the box up there. I hit the camera again. Man, I tell you what, I am batting a thousand today. This is what happens when we miss a video and I don't do openings. It just throws me all sorts off. All right, so let's get this. We got that. We got that. We got that. All right, let's go ahead and do this. Here we go, folks. First pack in Marcus's box. I said we're going to cut to the nitty-gritty of this. All right, we got Ledev Champion, Conclave Tribunal. That's not a bad card. Crush Contraband, and we got a Citywide Bust and a Foil Demir Informant. And then a Guildgate. Get this stuff cleared off here. There we go. Now we're thinking... Okay, we got a Beam Splitter Mage. Love this card. Love it. Uh, Kroll? Kroll? Harpooner. Not entirely sure, but it's good stuff. Uh, Swath Cutter Giant and our rare is Chromatic Lantern. That's not too bad either. Got another Boros Guildgate. Now, any of you who are interested in signing up for our patron, you can check it out in the link down below. Um, we believe that we have put forth a, a pretty honest patron tiers uh well worth the value uh, of, of what you pay so all right we got a justice strike uh flight of Equ equinauts i believe i'm pronouncing that right grappling sundew and our rare is Nar narcomiba narcomiba craziness all right. See how much time? Yeah, we're not doing too bad. All right, we got a True Fire Captain. Uh, status and Stature. Selective Snare. And we got a Thousand Year Storm. <laughs> First Mythic of the box. Sorry about that, Marcus. Actually, no, it's, uh, there's actually, we've got uh, we've got some decks for brewing with that. Um, I mean, it's, I don't think that's ever going to be, like, become an actual Storm card just because... I mean, six mana for Storm is kind of gross. Um, but it looks fun. We're brewing with it. Shenanigans are to be had. 
All right, we got Electrostatic Field, House Guild Mage, uh, Hellkite, Whelp, and hey, we got a Wow, Is It Nice Roll. Um, I guess we, I guess you got an Is It box here. That's what it's kind of looking like. Not too shabby. All right, keep it going, keep it going. We got Molder Hulk. We got Plague Crafter. Gird for battle, and we got a Dawn of Hope. Oh, wrong pile. Selesnia Guild Gate. All right, we got a Glaive of the Guild Pack. Beacon Bolt. Enhanced Surveillance, and we got an Emera, Soul of the Accord. Golgari Guild Gate in that one. Tell you what, I liked the heck out of pre-release this time around. I know I always say that, but I had extra fun this time. I just, I love pre-release, and I love sets like this. This is a fun set, it really is. We got Undercity uh, Necrolisk, Inescapable Blaze, love that card. Wand of Vertebrae, and we got a Doom Whisper Herd of Axe Oh, we got a foil too. We got a foil Lava Coil. So we are what? Not even halfway through our first stack, we got three Mythics. Uh, Doom Whisper is up there a little bit right now. That's a good card. Um, I actually pulled one of him in pre-release, and it was kind of gross. All right, we got Price of Fame. We got Sprouting Renewal, Selective Snare, and uh, we got Connive and Concoct. I don't really think I've seen that one too much yet. All right. Almost done with that first stack. I already got three Mythics. All right, we got another Harpooner. Just a Strike. Sun Home Stalwart. And we got Ionize. That's a good card. I'm digging that card. Selesnia Guildgate. I was actually fortunate enough to run Is It on uh, the 10 a.m the early bird event uh, for pre-release and I just had ridiculous is it cards I picked is it as my guild and it just so happened that I got a really nuts pull for uh, for is it so that was all sorts of fun we got true fire captain uh, Hazda Marshall pronouncing that right uh, Wanda vertebrae and we got a midnight reaper and do we get a foil? we got a foil we got a foil Oh, foil rare, fine in finality. All right. I mean, not the not the foil rare we're really looking for, but I don't think it's a bad one. Uh, the split cards tend to not be too bad. But yeah, I actually wound up going three and zero in the morning event just because the it was gross. I had like five or six from uh, counters and then a whole bunch of direct damage it was gross uh Ledev champion conclave tribunal sinister sabotage and we got a vivid revival with an is it guild gate oh yeah by the way we're starting on that third stack right now third stack second stack math is fun all right let's see what else we can get from marcus we got join shields uh, a Boredom Elemental, that card's good. Conclave Guild Mage, and we got a Bounty Agent, and another Foil. Oh, we got a, two Foil Rares in this box. You got yourself a Foil Risk Factor. That's a good card. That is good. That is that is really good. I, I don't know what Foil Risk Factor is at, but it's a good card. And like I said, you got two Foil Rares. That's awesome. See what I open up for my patrons? It's just, it's nuts. Absolutely nuts. All right, so we got Lava Coil. We got uh, Orkin Ashran Assassin. We got an Assassin. Uh, Sinister Sabotage and Thief of Sanity. That, uh, that's an interesting card. Not sure how I feel about it. Um, I'm not a big fan of blue. Um... It's just not my style. Don't get me wrong. I'll play it if uh, if I have to or if it's uh, happening to be good at that moment. But it's not my first choice. All right. We got Flower and Flourish, Whispering Snitch, Thought Erasure, and we got a Risk Factor. All right. A Risk Factor to go with your foil one. So 
so far this box is not shaping up to be too bad. All right, we got a League, Guild Mage, Price of Fame, Sprouting Renewal, and Izoni, Thousand-Eyed. That card did some work at pre-release at one of the events. We still didn't, we didn't do too good. I think that was Two-Headed Giant. Um, maybe, no, that was a different event. I don't know. I just remember dropping it and getting like a ridiculous amount of little insect creatures. All right, so we got Conclave Cavalier, District Guide, Creeping Chill, and a Beast Whisper, and another foil, a foil hypothesize. That is beautiful. Holy cats. My camera does not do it justice. Does not. Tell you what, I, I'm, I'm rather excited. We're, uh, we're on our way of moving up and patrons and all that, and one of the first things I want to do um, is get a, a new camera, uh, a much better camera, to be able to capture things like that foil. Uh, Golgari Raiders, Gatekeeper Gargoyle, World Soul Colossus, and we got Erratic Cyclops. Yeah, not too much longer. We'll, we'll be able to afford that. The camera I'm currently looking at is... Well, let's just say it's expensive. <laughs> it is quite expensive. But, uh, I, like I said, I, I would like something to do these foils justice. We got Invert and Invent. Guild Summit. Uh, Cruel... Crowl? Crowl? We got a swarm of uh, insects. That's what we got. And Deafening Clarion. You haven't got any of the lands yet. I'm kind of surprised about that. I pulled, man, during pre-release, I pulled like six or seven. It seemed like I was getting them in every other pack. All right, we got Night Vale Sprite. We got uh, Integrity and Intervention. Is that it? Yeah, Intervention. Uh, Disinformation Campaign. That card is gross and limited. And we got an Omnispell. Spell. Adept, we're building a deck with him right now that just looks gross. Good gross, though. Good gross. You know the decks we build. We build weird, janky stuff that is just insanely fun to play and sometimes actually works. All right, we got Boros Challenger, Inspiring Unicorn, Lotleth Giant, and Guild Mages Forum. I had to say something, then we got that one. I mean, it doesn't know me wrong. That's, that's not a bad card. Um, I think EDH it, it's going to find a spot. Um, but having to pay a mana to create a mana for that is... It's slow. It's slow and not entirely what you want to be doing. So, But I don't know. We'll see. I could be wrong. We got Integrity and Invention again. Uh, Glow Spore Shaman. Flight of Equinauts. And a Blood Operative. All right, almost done with that second stack. Seems like we've kind of fizzled out um, comparatively to that first stack. Uh, we got a Lava Coil. We got Beam Splitter Mage, Street Riot, and hey, we got a Lazav the Multifarious. Uh, all right, so we did get our fourth Mythic of the box. So anything after this is going to be just kind of icing on the cake because four is your average Four mythics. It does vary from set to set depending on cards and a whole bunch of stuff I don't want to go over right now. Anyways, we got Might of the Masses, Goblin Banneret, Thought Erasure, and Pelt Collector. Alright, that guy's not too bad. Uh, he's sitting at a few bucks right now. Last stack. Let's see what we can do. Once again, thank you very much, Marcus, for being a patron at the level that you're at and that continuing to be at that level. Uh, he's been there for a while. Uh, got the Marshal again, Smalt Ward, Minotaur, Goblin Banneret, and Niv-Mizzet Perrin. I want to like that card. I really do. I was all sorts of excited when they you know, spoiled Niv-Mizzet was going to be coming back. And then he's got that mana cost. And I just... That just kind of killed it for me. Not a fan. Not a fan. All right, we got Rock Charger. We got Demir Spybug. That's a good card. Another Swarm, and we got Knight of Autumn. Oh, we got a Foil, a Legion Guild Mage. All right. I 
getting towards the end here. Let's see what we can get. All right, we got Swarm Guild Mage. We got Legion Guild Mage. Grappling Sundu, and we got Assure, Assure and Assemble. Alrighty. Alright, we got Necrotic Wound. I love this card. Another Demir Spybug. Circicious. Uh, Sir. I honestly don't know how to pronounce that, so I'm not going to try to slaughter it. But it's that card. And then we got uh, Response and Resurgence. Alrighty, alrighty. We hoping to pull one of those lands for him here. We got uh, Chemister's Insight, Silent Dart, Glow Spore Shaman, and we got a Drowned Secrets. And then, oh, I thought we had a foil. We did not. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, we got uh, Demotion, Book Devourer, Discovery and Dispersal, and we got Qua Quasi Duplicate. There we go. That took me a second. <laughs> All right. We got Goblin Crater Maker, Night Veil Predator. That card is so good. Uh, Thoughtbound Phantasm, and we got Legion War Boss. All right, that's not a bad card at all. I myself am looking to pick up a set of those because I am excited about playing that uh, Boros Goblin deck. Uh, built it on Arena, uh, shy of I'm missing I think two of the War Bosses, um, Sacred Foundry or something, but uh, that looks like fun to me. All right, we've got Affectionate Indrik. We got Silent Dart. Golgari, Fine Broker, and we got a Tarta, or at Rata, a Tarta, at Rata, the Silencer, and then a Foil Sworn Companions. Wow, I don't know what's going on there. Now I'm throwing packs. Lord. All right, we're getting down to the nitty gritty here. We got four packs, including the one in my hand. All right, we got Flower and Flourish, Whispering Snitch, Status and Stature, and we got a Find and Finality. Man, I'm wanting to find more for you, Marcus, man. We started off so strong, and then... I mean, you did get two foil rares, so I guess that's kind of nice, but... I'd like a little more. We got Murmuring Mystic, We Dragonauts, Pilfering Imp, and... Tajik Legion's Edge. That, that guy's pretty good. Pretty good. Alright, we got Crackling Drake, Smelt Ward, Minotaur, City Watch Sphinx, and a Gruesome Menagerie. We did get a foil, a Hitchclaw Recluse. Last pack. Let's put some luck in there. Well, it looks like... Uh, <laughs> let's make my camera shut off there for a quick second. But I think I was able to catch it. So, last pack. Let's see what we can get here. Swarm Guild Mage. Swath Cutter Giant. Rampaging Monument. And Light of the Legion. Man, I, I'm sorry, Marcus. I I tried. It's not a single, not a single land. Like, okay, well, let's kind of see what we got. We got Light of the Legion, Gruesome Menagerie, uh, Legion's Edge, Fine Finality, Silencer, War Boss. That's not too bad. And honestly, I don't know what a lot of these prices are at, just because I have been keeping up on them. Um. Niv Mizzet. Pelt Collector, I know that's a little bit of something right now. Blood Operative, this seems good. It seems it seems good. Uh, if you can hit with him once, or essentially, uh, or even block with him and have him die, he's going to pay for himself when he comes back. I, I like it. 
I'm going to spell adept. That looks fun. Uh, this is fun. Beast Whisperer. That yeah, seems good. Risk Factor. That's good stuff. Uh, Ion Ice. That's good. Uh, Chromatic Lantern. Oh, Assassin's Trophy. I guess that's good. Although that did come from the... Uh, the bonus pack and not from the box. So we did although get um, a Lazav. We've got a Doom Whisperer. Oh, I should probably get in focus here. Uh, that's good stuff. We did get a Ral Is It and eh, a Thousand Year Storm. Um, and then for foils, we got the Hitchclaw Recluse, Sworn Companions, Legion Guild Mage, Hypothesis. That is just such a beautiful card. We did get two rares. Uh, Almost back to back too. We got a find in finality and a risk factor, lava coil and Demir informant. So that's what we got for you, Marcus. Uh, I'm sorry we couldn't do better. Uh, the box started off so strong and just kind of fizzled out at the end there. But anyways, um, I am gonna hold off uh, mailing your stuff out to you, Marcus. Uh, just for a little bit, uh, because we are going to be doing our patron giveaway. Uh, we've got some fun stuff to be given out. Uh, and then just in case you win, I can just send it all to you in one great big box of goodies. Um, so anyways, yeah, if y'all are interested in checking out Patreon, we get the link down below. Check it out. Uh, we believe that uh, what we offer in return for our tiers uh, is exceptionally fair and, and well-balanced. So, um if you like what you saw here today, do us a huge favor. Click that like button, be sure to hit subscribe, and then be sure to hit that little bell notification button so you can tell when we get new episodes coming out, and then share this with your friends, your family, your loved ones, and your pets. Everyone could use a little more magic in their lives. Once again, thank you very much for watching, and as always, you can find us on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch, Chuckwagon MTG. Now, if you could do us one last favor and check out this brief message about our sponsor. Chuckwagon MTG is sponsored by BC Comics and Games, now at one mega location to fill all of your gaming and comic needs. They have Magic the Gathering events every night of the week, as well as Warhammer, Pathfinder, Dungeons and Dragons Adventures League, Final Fantasy TCG, Pokemon, and Star Wars X-Wing events all throughout the week. They also have close to 100,000 comics on site. This is why I have personally made BC Comics and Games my home gaming store.